welcome to Black Friday, and we are going to do the Profit Orb event in the Idle Heroes. I'm just downloading the last little bit of game resources here, and then we're going to get logged in, right? So there are multiple events during a month which are important. Uh, there is a, um, a Heroic Summons, there's a Wishing Well, but the most important that you're going to do is the Profit Orb one, right? Now that's important because that's going to um, change your hero levels uh, dramatically in the beginning and then that's where your incremental growth is going to come from you know end to late game right uh, as you raise your hero levels and try to get things done so uh, so we're going to take a look here you're going to need room in your um, in your total overall heroes I got 284 I think I can go to the max 326 or so so that'll enable us to summon uh, 40 but you'll notice that um, I take uh, and here I leave a bunch of three stars in here and four stars because there's going to be a couple of things that go on. Look, there's a ton of fours and and then as we as we roll through, there's going to be the fives and then of course your your bigger heroes at the bottom. So this is important because this is where you're going to combine right here on the creation circle. Um, when you pop in here, you're going to see these dots. These are combinations that you can do right now, right? So those six stars in the shadow can be done. I can't do any five stars. If I go to Fortress, I can't do any five stars. Abyss, the same thing. Well, I got this guy here. Let's go ahead and clear some space on that. And then uh, confirm. You guys will figure this piece out as far as the fusions. Um, there's really no... Um, uh, in the beginning, it's really critical to look for certain mons. But after you get to like mid game and you start to do some of these events uh, you'll realize that you're just summoning a ton of stuff right uh, not as much critical to be exact on the combinations um, there we go forest and then uh, dark and light okay so I'm pretty cleaned up on five stars now I wanted to point this out on the events it's gonna be under your limit events or what we call weekly events I think at one time it was actually called weekly you'll see that there's two here there's the profit summon orb event and for every, you know, the first 10 orbs, I'll get these light and darks over here. Uh, and then for 20, you get a, a, a an abyss five star. For 30, you get a forest five star. And then you get a light and dark all the way up to 80. So <clears throat> you want to save your profit orbs. You don't want to use them randomly when there's not an event going, right? Um, and then Heroic Miracle is a really cool event where, um, so for this one's really cool because I can get a bell ring, which I'm actually building, so that works great for me, and you get more profit orbs in here and some more summons, right? So I, I did a, apparently a five-star summon on Abyss, uh, and then it gives you gear that you can combine or use if you need it if you're early game. Uh, really cool event for me. It's probably my favorite one. It's what I save for the most, and this one happened to hit me with a light bell ring, uh, which I'm excited about. So uh, profit orbs, if you go back to your profit orb tree here, uh, and you come through. I've got 90 orbs, which is great because I wanted to um, push 80 out. I wish I had 160 because I could use a bunch of bell reins, uh, but that's not uh, not a bad deal. So I know that I'm um, I'm working towards a couple of things. So I like to verify. I go back into my heroes tab and say, you know, do I have enough to raise Valkyrie up? Right. Uh, I'm using that in uh, in PVE and PVP. Uh, if I come in here and tap, it says that I'm going to need a 10 star and a copy of Valkyrie. So if I look, I don't have a copy of Valkyrie. So I know that I'm going to have to summon a Valkyrie at minimum um, on there. So, uh, so if I go back into my bag and I look and I check for a copy of Valkyrie, uh, I do believe I have one. Yeah, see here I got two. So I'm going to summon um, just one copy right now because I'm just only doing what I need, right? I don't want to over summon. Oh, I got this little guy here, huh? Let's see what we got. What is that? The evil holy grail. See, I, I hate it when they're specific, like the 40% damage against mage. Uh, very handy in different circumstances if you're going to swap gear out, but 99% of the people in this game are not going to take the time to go through. Uh, but still cool. And then we'll do this uh, the next level down. And we got uh, the wind god messenger. Actually, that's pretty good. So you have 36% speed and a 9% hit points. And as you build that, that's going to get quicker and quicker. So we will take that. Rewind it back. All right, so uh, so we've got our copy of, um, of Valkyrie out, right? And so if we pop back in here and we look at what we need at the E4. So we've got our copy now, right? It's in here. And then now I just need a, a 10 star. But I don't really think I have any 10 stars to go. Right, see everything that I have on that top row here all the way from Valkyrie to Shia. So top left to right is uh, Valkyrie, Horus, Heart Watcher, King Barton, Aspen, Ada, um, 
uh, Bell Rain and then Shia. And so if I if I was looking, I'm not not really using Ada, but if I went in to look, it's going to require another copy of Ada, a six star light. Uh, I'm just not willing to use my light heroes to build this to a nine, to convert it to a ten, to try to raise a Horus. Right? I'm just going to keep it as is and go though. So my only option really is here in Forest with this Demon Hunter. Um, so if I was to summon out of the Prophet Orbs into Forest, I could probably 10-star that Forest Hunter, or that Demon Hunter, right? Let's check this, Demon Hunter, right? So what I want to do is go back into my Prophet Tree. Oops, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. So this is the other thing, too, on the fusion events, right? I'm going to point that out just because it's kind of neat to keep track of, right? Every month, there's also a fusion and awakening. And right now, I've done 10 of the 20, one of the eight sixes, but you get a bunch of extra resources. And so I don't like to combine them when it's not the profit orb because you can complete like three different events at one time, right? The profit orb, the heroic miracle, as well as the fusion and awaken. So, so good news is that, that I haven't completed much of this yet and that's going to give me extra gold, which is incredibly important. It's going to give me uh, potentially uh, two more ribbons there, maybe six ribbons. So two, four, six, 12, no, no, two, four, six, ten. 10, if I do it right. And the ribbons are important because this allows you to summon extra of anything, which uh, this is going to be the guy that I'm working towards the most. So uh, we're going to uh, take and go back to the profit tree. We're in forest already, and we'll give it a 10 summon. Uh, we'll see what we got. Well, we got some good fodder in there, right? Now, what I like to do from here, and a, a heart watcher five star, is I like to go to my bag and say, what do I have from forest that I need to uh, to bring out, right? And so I always do whatever I get in the in the four stars because I don't want to have them sitting around filling up bag space unnecessarily. Not that it ever gets full, right? But I do want to convert some of these heroes to fives and sixes because we are in that event. So I think that's good. I've gotten all of those out. There's my extra copy. I got four copies of Heart Watcher right here. So uh, if we, we're, we're good to raise that one up. So then I'm going to go back in here into my creation circle. I'm going to go to forest and I'm going to look and say, did that allow me to summon anything? And yes, uh, there we go, and I'll just pop one, two, three, four, confirm, fuse. Now, there's a system to this, really. A lot of people would say, well, you know, you should do this one or up that one or whatever, right? Uh, not as huge. So um, if I go in here and we pop what we need to level, I'm going to need three and then a six. And I don't have a six currently, so now I can come back, go back into the creation, and there we can probably do a six here right so we got this guy rosa i believe is it rosa yeah it is uh we're gonna fuse him and then how many do i need i need three so i'm gonna do uh yeah this will be a tough one so let's do one two three vessa i regressed that's why i have so many copies available but that's fine we wanted to use these to to up and so bang rosa is next level and then let's take a look at what we need to advance now so if i go into rosa now rosa or demon hunter we were going to up this one because rosa can be used and then three more so we're going to go vesa again and then awaken now we've got a demon hunter and he is a rank eight i believe so we need another demon hunter another six star and another two star so if i look back and we look at our combined again in the creation circle and this is just how this event works. You're going to go back and forth. See, I can't fuse anything now. So I'm going to go back to the profit tree. We're going to, oh, well, we can finish off this. We got another six star that we did. We got a five star fusion. This is why you kind of wait on it. We got our awards. So, and let's clean that up. All right. Now back into the profit tree for forest. And we somebody get hoping to get another um, uh, demon hunter. Okay. Now this is an important thing, right? If we go ahead and claim this. Um, and we go back, let's see what we can summon out of our bag again. These guys right here. Because I'm going to show you a little trick to use with these branches that you get. And then hopefully it will help you when you get ready to summon, right? So three of these guys. And then we'll see what we can summon. And if we can't do, if we can't combine a demon hunter or something like that so that we can raise, then uh, we'll go to the branches and I'll show you something cool, right? So... Uh, creation circle and then forest come on now come on so nothing right but if i look i need a five star demon hunter i need this one uh, you know to uh to, to move forward so and i'll show you that so on here boom demon hunter 
and then there so I need this five star demon hunter which is missing now what I can do is I can go into the profit tree and I can do um, a replace right so if I look at the replace um, you put a hero in here and I'm gonna need to filter forest and I pick a five star in here uh, let's see yes yeah, so I don't really have it's kind of wanted to use Gru before but let's just go ahead and do that so I can replace it and what I'm looking for is a demon hunter and you can use these branches to figure out see there we go demon hunter save problem solved right so if I go back in, I'm still not going to be able to level it because I'm going to need a six star to get it up to nine. But if I look here, at least we have a demon hunter now. Now I need a six star and two fives. So I'm going to go back to the forest and pop in the summons here. And there we go. So I got, uh, actually, I got two five stars, a starlight in there and, uh, and a heart watcher. And then a couple of fours in there. So let's just go ahead and pop one more because I know we're going to need extra anyway. Um, another five star, two more five, three more five stars. Holy cow, we are rolling. Um, so great, let's go into our bag and let's get um, let's get some stuff summons down, right? Because uh, we're going to try to do a creation. I wish it would just stay scrolled down to the bottom. It would make life a lot easier, especially when you have a really full bag. So, um, And then we're going to look and update our Heroic Miracle. Uh, we're going to need to summon some of the other ones, but I don't want to clutter uh, my summoned heroes up and not be able to finish uh, what we're doing here on the profit orbs, right? So there we go. And then what else do we have extra here? We had a starlight for another five star. We had another crew. Let's get him out. Um, let's get this other Vessa because we're using her for other stuff. And then um, six heart watchers. I don't think I'll need six to level up my. Um, my other heart watcher either so i might have too many of those collected so if i look i'm gonna need um none for that one and one for the other one and i can't remember on the top so i know i'm gonna need at least three so we can actually summon in these um oops wrong screen we can actually in our bag go ahead and summon a few of these heart watchers and right three of them um because i know that i won't i will only need three to max it out so all right, back into creation, into forest, and let's see what we got here. Now we can summon in some more here. So let's be careful. We want to, uh, let's see if I'm going to do, I could do a six-star heart watcher, right? So if I look and I come through here, let's see what we can do on the combination here. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and make that creation and get moving on that next event here. So if we pop in on these summons and select in, let's see, one, two. You always want to leave four of something if you can because that's what you're going to use in the next, uh, for the next summons on here, and then we'll fuse that together. All right, now we go back. We're going to collect for our fusion event again. So you have all these gears. Uh, for the profit orbs, you're going to be collecting some light and dark. So you got a couple more summons, some scrolls, uh, and that's pretty much where you want to be with that, right? You want to always be moving forward and setting up your next event. So now if I look back into cool events and I go to this heroic miracle, I know that I'm going to be able to summon Zen um, right here. I know that I'm going to be able to have two light heroes and two darks because we already have those saved and then some abyss fortress and shadow which shouldn't be a problem right so I don't want to use all my profit orbs just yet okay I still have 50 fantastic so we're going to be able to make up the difference in there um, but I need to have some more of uh, forest because we have to get that next six star in and again another heart watcher which is fantastic we can use all those duplicates so let's see if I go into the creation uh, what are we looking for here? Boom. Nope. Hmm. I don't see. There we go. So I need this and some more. Yeah. So I need this guy here, the furry guy, and we're going to need some, we need one more of him. And then we have the four, right? So again, now I can go into the branches over here and then click on uh, replace on the branches and then go into my four stars for my forest. And let's see, we gotta create one of those guys. Uh, let's take him 
and replace. So it's going to be easy to get out to that. Was that what we needed, gray eyed? I can't remember the one we need. Let's go ahead and save it. I don't think that was the one that I needed, but let's just double check. My memory's bad. Yeah, there we go. We needed a, uh, what is that guy's name? Let's figure him out. Then we needed the gray eyed. So one, two, uh, let's just take there, confirm. Now, as I fuse this guy together, oh, I need one more, sorry. Uh, fuse. Confirm and fuse. All right, now that's gonna enable me to make a six star heart watcher here and we're gonna be able to pull off. We don't need any Vessas, so we can use her and fuse at the heart watcher. There we go. So now we have enough to raise again this demon hunter here. And let's go. So we have the demon hunter that we needed. Now we've got a six star that we needed. And we need two of those, which we can use Heart Watcher because those are the extra copies and Awaken. So now he's a nine star. Or she, or it. Now I need two demon hunters and um, a six star and any five star or any four. That's a nine star right there. So I need another nine star, which I'm going to be able to use the trees. That's why we regressed. And I needed to get a six star, but I need two copies of the Demon Hunter. So let's see what our options are here. We got some extra five stars in the forest. So here we go. Let's click on forest. So now I'm going to need to change over. Um, we can use starlight. And if we use starlight and I think that's one copy of a demon. That's a wind walker. We can use starlight and wind walker and try to replace with a demon hunter. So this might take a little bit. Let's collect our rewards though. Those are always helpful. All right, so I need a starlight and a demon walker here. Let's see what we got here. Uh, replace and then filter out by forest. Get a starlight and I need a demon. So nope. Cancel, replace, come on, make it easy on me. Oh, Avessa, nice. At one point, I would have been excited to have that. Arosa, nope. Uh, come on, demon, nope. A chief, we've got 32 more attempts at this, so I'm pretty, look like, at heart watcher. I'm going to start cycling through all the things that I don't need. Come on, demon, where are you at? Come on, come on. Oh, Aunt Elder. There we go, Demon Hunter, we'll save that one out. Now we have one of the two copies we still want to replace. Filter, and I believe there was a Wind Walker that we wanted to change out. Where was it? Uh, to, to, there we go, Wind Walker. Wind Walker to Demon Hunter. Oh, another Vessa, man. I would have killed to have that four or five months ago. The chance to get a, and I needed a Vessa. I remember doing this for a Vessa and it never came up. All right, so we're down to 23 more attempts. Don't need you, Edgar, Demon Hunter. Oh, a Gru. Ooh, Gru. I want to build that so bad. Nope, we don't need you, Thale. Get on out. All right, there we go. Oberon would have been nice. Man, I just need a demon hunter. Come on. A chief, no. 19 more attempts. Another Gru. Ugh. All right, so another Thale. Let's go. Come on. Come on. All right, I'm going to stand up and walk around my chair and do a rally. Molassa, nope. That was good news because last time Molassa went to Demon Hunter. Starlight, get out of here. 14 more attempts. This is going to be one of those videos where I, I can't do my upgrade because I can't get this one. Now, we can always do more Prophet Orb summons. Yes. All right. There we go. So, we're good. Now, we have enough to raise this to a tenor. A ten star. Let's go to Demons. If I'm... If I'm did my calculation. Oh, I've got to still uh, boost that one. Womp, womp. All right, so let's go back in. Creation circle, forest, and I need to create a six star. So let me see what my options are here. Don't have any of those. None, none, none. I bet I, I, bet I can do a Gru. I can, but I would need this, the Int Elder that we passed on a hundred times, right? Is that the guy? But let's check through. I don't have him, no, no. That's the one we're raising currently, Heart Watcher. I would need another copy of that, which I just summoned on the other ones in the Prophet Orbs. No, guys, no Oberon. I could use Oberon, but I'd need a Thale. Um, Valk, I don't want to use. Garuda, I don't want to use. Rosa, 
Um, so I need this guy, but I have nothing. I got nothing. So let's go back to the Prophet Orb Summons. Let's knock out 10 more. What we got? What we got? What we got? A Gru. That's good news. We got a, a copy of the Ent Elder. Let's see what we got. All right. So let's go back into um, my bag and let's go down and summon. So I've got an Ober on there. Um, well, look. Look who I got down here hiding. Look who is hiding down there. Let's see if we got this um, now on the Ent Elder. Uh, we still need... Nope, we were gonna do this screw. Yes, yes. Ooh, decision time. Decisions, decisions. Let's see if we have anything else to summon. I don't wanna use any of those guys just yet. Do we have another five star in here? We've got an extra copy of your girl, so that's one. Um, we're not building an Oberon, so that's two. I don't wanna use my Valk. But I've got a Gru, so that's three. All right, so let's see what we got here. Creation Circle, Forest. You can tell how there's a lot of back and forth here. Um, now we can get this guy going, so let's go Gru. Let's go... Uh, I got three Oberons. Man, I should really build an Oberon for PvP. He does a snare move that's really good. Um, but let's go, let's go Heart Watcher. Heart Watcher. That would actually be the three that I need. And Fuse. All right, so now I can go back... And then I'm going to collect my rewards for the fusions because that money. Oh, I got a Siggy and 10 more profit orbs. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we needed for this video. Uh, and so now I can go back in. I should have everything I need to 10 star your girl here. Let's see this. Two demon hunters. I got a six star guru and then a tree. Oh, ooh. Ah. Ooh, there we go. So uh, 10 star the Demon Hunter, which means now I can pop into my Horus, who I've been trying to raise forever. I can pop him in, 10 star you, and one of you, and drum roll. Now we have an E4 Horus there, um, which is really, really, really good for us. Um, the, the million, look, an extra million in hit points, another 10,000 attack, basically. Uh, that's going to make a huge world of difference. Now to get him to E5, I'm going to need another 10 and another Horus. Um, so that's fine, though. We uh, will probably wait until the um, the next Prophet orb, orb event comes around. But now we need to com complete. That was actually my mission for the Prophet Orbs. I got four ribbons, a thousand little sapphires. Now I can go back in and look at just specifically completing the Heroic Miracle, right? I freed up a ton of bag space. We combined a ton of stuff. And so now I need two light and two dark. So if I go into my bag here, and I go into, uh, there we go, we can go too dark here. I always want to save. You don't want to get more than what you need out. Um, I'm raising Bell Rain, so I can just go ahead and summon a Bell Rain. Um, and now we can summon one of these guys and leave the other one in there for now. So now that I got through, here's my reward for uh, my, uh, my light and then my dark. And then let's claim these and get these out of here. All right, so now if I go back into Heroic Miracle, um, I've got three of six done. I need um, two Abyss, three Fortress, and three Shadow. So I, this is going to be tough. I don't know that I have all these, but if not, we'll go to the uh, the Prophet Orbs and we'll use those. So uh, I got three Cthugas, who I'm really considering building him, to be honest, and Nakia. Uh, but let's get this King Barton. There's one. Uh, let's do a Nakia because I think I can six star a Nakia and then I'll just do one of the Cthugas, right? Uh, so that will be the three for there. We'll go back. We'll confirm it. Yes, we got that. And then let's go back into the event. A heroic Miracle. And now in four of six, what I'd need is three Fortress, three Shadows. So let's go in and see what we have for Shadow. Um, we got a Horus, which we're going to need for the next one that we come through. Um, and I don't see any, well, there's two right there. Jara, you're in. Get up on deck. All right, so now we're going to need Fortress, but I only see two. So we're going to be one short on Fortress. And I want to build a SIG too. Like a lot of the top end guys run a SIG, especially, uh, you know, to clear off some of the, um, 
um, some of the levels on the Tower of Oblivion. So if I look, I completed that one. Let's go ahead in. Now the whole, I should only need one uh, one fortress, I believe. Yep, so one fortress. So we're gonna go in. Let's just double check that we can't build one automatically from the creation circle. You just never know. And then we can do a six star SIG, which would be kind of cool. But uh, is that gonna get done? I think I need to summon a five star. I don't wanna do the wrong thing. Uh, summon a light five star, right? So creating SIG won't help me out in that scenario. So I'm gonna go back in and do this. Um, this is a little trick that you're gonna have a ton of um, and you're gonna be able to go see right here I only have 32 of the 50 that I need um, I only got oh, the fours I only have that uh, I do have a heroic shard will that do it nope oh and of course a Horus right <laughs> and that's fine I could use that let's just uh, I don't need that one I don't need abyss or forest so I'm gonna leave those in there for now but I do have these guys here so let's summon them one at a time and then see if we can get a forest I just don't need that many extra. Nope, Abyss. I should just do all four, but I'm cheap. Shadow, come on, forest. I mean, uh, fortress. Come on, there we go, boom. So now if I come back out, this is gonna be a complete, and I'm gonna get the bell rain, easy peasy. That is how you run the Prophet Orb event and the Heroic Miracle. I know this has been an incredibly long video. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll put the timelines out for you so that you don't have to search through the whole thing. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me any questions in the comments. See ya.